Jack in the bathtub for uh, while you could eat some food and for a little time um, just to chill and mainly I want your nails to set I just did his nails and as you can see they're blue and I used a little bit of a purplish blue this time uh, it's an OPI called Pacific Dreams and it's like a bluish purple and I have several different blues and purples that I usually use. I usually use blue on his nails. I prefer him in a blue. You can see right there. And I did try to put some acrylic on there for uh, for the nails so they won't be quite as sharp. Now he doesn't want them to be sharp on purpose. <clears throat> he, of course, keeps growing them back. <gasps> do you grow back sharp nails? You do. I'll put some water clarifier in here soon. If your turtle's kind of closing his eyes when he's in the water, um, that's a sign that there's a chemical in there that's irritating him. So if he just did a water change, um, maybe there's a little bit of residue left in the tank on the glass. Now he doesn't live in here just for purposes of clarification. Um, and uh, also use a a chlorine remover, uh, just obviously like the kind you'd use for a fish, your fish tank neutralizer. And I prefer the ones that do have a little bit of um, additional benefits. I don't know if it really matters, but it says where um, adds, um, I don't know, beneficial quote bacteria or beneficial things to the water, adds things back to help neutralize any other chemicals. And I do see a difference mainly in his um, eye closure. Normally a snapping turtle or any turtle during the day will be really alert um, and underwater kind of looking at stuff. If they're water turtle of course don't put your box turtle or tortoise in water like this because they can't swim. At least not very well. Oh my goodness I'm so sorry. Let me see. Let me see. There's your pretty blue eyes. Of course he has brown eyes with little yellow flecks inside, like a little cross, cross hatch. Uh, that's really dominant in alligator snapping turtles. The eye uh, looks kind of like a cross hatch in the middle and with common snappers, they do have it. Not quite as pronounced. Oh, I know, it's bothering me. Yeah is to set his nails and I've been using acrylic on there to try to build out the nail a little bit so it's more blunt and not pointy and it needs to set in a little bit cooler water before he goes back in his tank and crawls around and destroys everything in his tank. There. Oh are you a bubbler? Are you a bubbler? Let me bring you up. your tank. Are you hanging out? Are you chilling? You are chilling. You can see again how I built that up. What I did is they have an acrylic filling powder and uh, you ladies know what I'm talking about when you get your nails filled. Um, they use a, a paintbrush. Simplified a little tiny paintbrush and a chemical which is kind of similar to a nail polish remover and um, I guess smell and consistency and they'll dip it in a little powder and it'll turn into a gel and they'll paint that gel on where the space is between your acrylic nail and where the new growth is and it's called a filler and it'll fill in um, the nail so it looks nice and even even so his nails aren't quite as full but you can see i built them up a little bit and as they grow i have been putting a little bit more of the acrylic powder um, again, you dip it in um, a chemical and kind of like a paint. Paint it on. Let it dry. Of course, he's been out of the water with me again for several hours. And look what's done. Who's beautiful? Who's beautiful? Who's handsome? Um, I do not know if Blackjack actually is a male or female. 
he's almost five years old and um, you can kind of get signs of what they are but again especially like with snakes too of course you can't really tell if they're male or female for a while until they become very close to adults and bearded dragons too sometimes you, you can make an educated guess um but again don't bet all your money in it because i have a pair of bearded dragons right now and i thought that that girl was actually batman and she ended up being or excuse me he ended up being a sheep <laughs>